One of the hybrid Azure AD deployment topologies is password hash sync. Let's do a deep dive into how that works. Just as a reminder, here's a quick overview of what password hash sync is doing between Windows Server Active Directory and Azure Active Directory. It's basically synchronizing the hash of the hash of the user's password. So when they go to sign in, they can authenticate directly against Azure AD and not the on-premises environment. At a high level, the way this works is we're synchronizing a hash of the hash of the user's password. The sync service never has access to the plain text version of the password. It's a hash of the hash. It's one way and it cannot be reverted. Okay, so let's take a look at how this really works. Every two minutes, the password hash synchronization agent on the Azure Active Directory Connect server requests stored password hashes, specifically the Unicode PWD attribute from a domain controller. This request is via the standard MS DRSR replication protocol used to synchronize data between domain controllers. The service account must have replicate directory changes and replicate directory changes all Active Directory permissions, which are granted by default on installation in order to obtain the password hashes. Now, before it sends it, the domain controller encrypts the MD4 password hash by using a key that is a MD5 hash, hence hash of the hash, of the RPC session key and a salt. It then sends the result to the password hash synchronization agent over RPC. The domain controller also passes the salt to the synchronization agent by using the domain controller replication protocol so the agent will be able to decrypt the envelope. After the password hash synchronization agent has encrypted the envelope, it uses MD5 crypto service provider and the salt to generate a key to decrypt the received data back to its original MD4 format. The password hash synchronization agent never has access to the clear text password. The password hash synchronization agent's use of MD5 is strictly for replication protocol capability or compatibility rather with the domain controller. And it is only used on premises between the domain controller and the password hash synchronization agent. The password hash synchronization agent expands a 16 byte binary password hash to 64 bytes by first converting the hash to a 32 byte hexadecimal string, then converting this string back into binary with UTF-16 encoding. The password hash synchronization agent adds a per user salt consisting of a 10 byte length salt to the 64 byte binary to further protect the original hash. The password hash synchronization agent then combines the MB4 hash plus the per user salt and inputs it into a PPKDF2 function. A thousand iterations of the HMAC SHA-256 keyed hashing algorithm are then used. The password hash synchronization agent takes the resulting 32 byte hash, concatenates both the per user salt and the number of SHA-256 integrations for it, then transmits the string from Azure Active Directory Connect to Azure Active Directory using TLS. And finally, the last step here is when a user attempts to sign in to Azure Active Directory and enters their password, the password is run through the same MD4 plus SALT plus PBKDF2 plus HMAC SHA-256 process. If the resulting hash matches the hash stored in Azure Active Directory, the user has entered the correct password and is then authenticated. All right, folks, I know you're probably gonna have to go back and rewatch that little deep dive slide because there's a lot happening there, but hopefully this helps to clear up any confusion around password hash sync and Azure Active Directory when it's in a hybrid topology. All right, go out there, read the documentation, lab it up, learn as much as you can, and uh, take care. We'll see you in the next video.